Hey everyone, so I am finally getting to the unboxing of my Joyful Bee Wash Day Hair Kit. Designed for 4C girls, but good for anybody. Um, it's been a long time coming, but I am just now getting around to washing my hair. I'm sure you guys know how that is. It was designed by Joy Wade, who you can see pictured here on this card. Yes, queen. Joy is a YouTuber and she's a USC student and she made this incredible box for us 4C hair girls to help make our wash days a little bit easier. And the yellow is an amazing touch because you know that is one of our colors. In the box there's a detangle brush, the scalp massager, it also comes with a really cute continuous mist water bottle. And then there is the conditioning cap that you warm up in the microwave to help your conditioner set in. And then it comes with a great terry cloth towel. Once you click on the card, there's a QR code which gives you instructions for the perfect wash day. Super cute touch, super cute touch. So if you guys don't have one, check her out um, on Instagram. She's at joyfulb or at joyfulb.com on the internet. It's so cute. You guys got to try it. Trust me. I'm loving it thus far. Um, and again, all the great touches. So my hair is washed, um, loving this towel, super soft, terry cloth, I'm assuming, um, really, really absorbent. Um, so now that my hair is washed, I'm going to apply my conditioner and then use the heating conditioning pad. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I am 4C like a real 4C. Um, so I'm about to show you what my hair looks like freshly washed. I recently feel like I heat damaged it, so it looks much finer than normal. Um, but anyways, here we go. My phone is sabotaging at the moment. So um, I wanted to also just show what my hair looks like in its natural state freshly washed i cut the back off recently i cut it all over but most of it i cut off the back um because again i straightened it um maybe two months ago now and it did not revert back very well even though it is still super tight as you can see um, my hair is normally super tight and thick, um, with lots and lots of shrinkage. Conditioner is what I'm using. My hair is normally super shrunken, um, but also really, really coarse. And so after I wash my hair from wearing it straight, my hair now feels really, really soft. <laughs> like I'm rubbing my scalp, which is not normally a thing. Um, so I am honestly confused if my hair just lost some of its normal density and coarseness because of this one time that I, not one time, because I've straightened my hair in life, but because of this one particular time, of me straightening my hair or if it's because I'm getting older and my hair is just kind of changing in texture a little. I've heard that people's texture changes every seven years or so. Um, not necessarily drastically, but there will be changes. Um, and so I don't know what's going on with my hair, but um, I do want to kind of show what it looks like wet um for numerous reasons number one is because i used to be super 
ashamed, which is really, really sad for people to see my hair wet. Um, number two, because most people typically see my hair in its stretched state, um, whether it's twisted out or braid out or bantu knot out or what have you. And a lot of people um, seem to think <laughs> that they admire my hair. Um, and so I get lots of compliments, or I did anyways, um, about my hair. And it's always weird to me because I'm always like, I have that hair that most people find undesirable. So the compliments to this day throw me off. <laughs> um, but I am grateful. I am thankful. I actually really like my kinky hair, even though it's a lot of work. Um... Curl envy is not really a thing for me. I'm actually hoping that my hair goes back to what it was before I flat ironed it. Um, because I'm actually not even used to it being this soft. <laughs> um, and I would have thought that it would have been you know, more of an enjoyable experience with it being a lot softer, but I'm just not used to it at all. I It's to the point right now where, um, I don't know, it's so soft that I don't know how to manage it. Um, and I like the kinks. Um, one good thing about kinky hair, and I'm sure all of my 4C sisters can agree, is that kinky hair does what you tell it. It, 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 it behaves, it has a memory. So if you twist it, when you take it out, your twists are popping. If you braid it, when you take it out, that braid pattern's in there and it's popping. When your hair is a little bit softer, it wants to bounce back out of your styles a lot more. It doesn't have very much memory. Um, so for me, it's a little bit different to navigate that whole lane. Anywho, conditioners on my hair. I also have thin edges. It's hereditary. This side is tragic. Um, but you know what? Such is life. Um, so this is just a transparent moment. If you are for, for C, drop some comments. I w recently watched a video, I can't remember who it is, and she felt like um, you don't see people with 4C on camera with their hair looking like 4C without manipulation. So um, that I felt that a little bit. So I wanted to definitely join her and put my actual 4C hair on camera. I also just want to show you guys that I'm using a protein or strengthening conditioner by Shea Moisture as well as a moisturizing conditioner by Shea Moisture. Reason being is it's very, very important that you have the balance of the two, especially if your hair is fine and or kinky. Um, you want to make sure that your hair is balanced. Too much of anything is a bad thing. So definitely both of these two um, if you have 4C hair. Oh, and then also, one cool thing about the brush that's included in the kit. This hair is flexible. So let's see. Let's test it out and see. Again, my hair is much softer now than previously. So let's see how it works for me and my kinky hair. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I attempted to do that whole like heart-shaped situation. Um but more so out of necessity because again whose hair is this right now let's see so the brush definitely flexes which makes it a little bit easier when combing your hair out it has a little give to it which being that my hair is super soft at the moment, or <laughs> relatively soft in regards to what it's normally like, um, this works well. It's flowing, which again, is kind of telling lies because my hair normally when wet, 
stressful. <laughs> stressful. Okay. You know your hair is 4C. When it shrinks more than 50%. Okay. When you can stretch your hair out, <laughs> it is twice as long or more than it appears prior to that whole stretching situation. You're probably 4C. You're also probably 4C if when your hair touches water, it does not lay down. <laughs> It stands up and then it curls up. That's when you know you're foreseeing. Meaning, when your hair touches water, and if it does this, instead of this, you're probably not foresee. If your hair doesn't immediately start drying, <laughs> may not be foreseen. Hair might be tight, but it may not be foreseen. And that's okay. As you can see, even with my hair being softer than normal, it still fights back. Like my, my hand is tired. <laughs> kind of because the, bl the brush does flex and I need the tension. So now all the tension is kind of coming from my hands. So. It's different. Flexible brush. I probably could take it or leave it, but I do understand the function of it for sure. So I have warmed up the heating cap. I'm gonna put on my plastic bag. So what you're gonna see now is me just parting my hair into manageable sections and using my handheld steamer by Q Redo to just give my hair a little added stretch and moisture. Um, I'm just gonna end up putting it in some big braids to let it sit just for a few minutes, probably all of 10 minutes um, once I was finished braiding it all down, just so we can kind of get that stretch in it so that I'm able to move from the detangling process to styling.
So for the sake of not boring you, I'm just gonna continue to steam and braid each section of my hair. So the purpose of me braiding my hair was just for the sole purpose of detangling. So once I got it all detangled and also stretched, I just began to take each braid out so that I can start doing my actual styling. Here I'm just using some Equal Style Gel, pulling my hair up, and then using my brush to smooth it all out. Just kind of making sure everything is in place and laid so that I can continue on with my styling. I'm actually trying to do a style that was sent to me by a friend of mine. Um, I wanted to use the barrette that was included inside of this wash day kit. And she sent me a really cute hairstyle, so I am just going to try to mimic it on camera and see how it turns out. This is my first time achieving this style, so I really had no idea how it would go. But I decided why not just give it all I got and see what happens. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out pretty cute, um, being that it was on a whim, completely unplanned. Um, and it's a great protective style, especially for those days or weeks when you don't have a lot of time. You can just kind of throw it into this style and keep it moving. After I put my hair into the ponytail, I just took a hair scarf, scarf, if I can talk, took a hair scarf and tied it down for 15 minutes at most. And then I continued with styling from there. To achieve the desired hairstyle, I use my better length hair extensions. Just want to show you guys what the hair looks like. It's a little tangled just because of the way I stored it. It actually came looking gorgeous. It was super soft, but still has that natural hair, kinky, as you can see, texture to it. Um, and I believe I got 14 inches. So super cute hair. So this is just an example. Um, I actually have quite a bit of it. So this is what it looks like. Um, I love it. I tried it on like the first day I got it just to kind of get a feel for it. Um, and I was here for like all the looks that it gives. So I started with one of the longer clips. This one has about five clips on it. And I just took the piece and clipped it directly on the base of my hair right at the front just to secure it. And then once I got it secured, I just took the rest of the clip in and wrapped it around the puff or my little puff. And then once I got that last clip in place, I also clipped that in as well to just secure it. And then from there, I just began playing with it, trying to get it into a really cute bun it was cute the way it was but i decided i wanted a little bit more this is cute i feel like i can make it a little bit more dramatic let's add one more clip to it
There's a little cute, sleek, easy, protective style bun. Or we're gonna try to step it up a notch. I'm trying to emulate a look that a friend of mine sent me. And so accessories are in order. I literally just ripped it off. So I'm just gonna start it at the base. I'm literally just going to tie a knot in it, because why not? Sounds like a good idea to me. And then, well, not a knot, I guess. It's not a complete knot. And just tuck the extra piece in the back. And then, let's see. hairstyle is complete um this is what it ended up looking like um at the end of the video i would insert a picture of the inspiration and then pictures of me with this particular hairstyle thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you want to see more videos leave comments for things you want to see in the future and any questions you may have about the video that i did today um like comment subscribe i said that um so yeah thank you so much thank you so much um here's the front i don't know if i can get the back but i will try don't know hopefully you saw it if you didn't then there'll definitely be pictures to follow have a good day take care be safe